from Minute Maid Park in Houston. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, this ballpark still among the game's best. When the roof is open, it feels like an outdoor ballpark, and then you have the shade and the cool when the roof is closed. Yeah, and formerly Towles Hill out there in center. You still have the Crawford boxes in left, a unique setback in left center field, which causes the left fielders to have to play differently, but there is a lot of character to this place. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now and getting the start from Valdez. Well, the starting pitchers go, he's not real tall, so one of the keys for him is having good deception by being able to change speeds Add and subtract velocity on his pitches. You know, the ball doesn't come from a high angle, so it can be a little flatter in the zone. So he's got to be able to work the corners, work all the quadrants, but also maybe pause a little bit, hesitate, vary up his times to the plate, and make that hitter inconsistent in terms of getting the front foot down. Foul ball. Here comes the 0 1. Chris Fromber Valdez has turned into one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long time. Kind of an old soul, dude. And a 1-2. That one missing inside. Yeah, just goes about his business, gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play, and just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes him pitch better, he believes. I always thought cologne made me smell better. He handles it himself. One out in the top of the first. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Now, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. One down, base is empty. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's one and one. Chris Fromber uses three types of cologne. Tropical scent for pitching, a more subtle smell when he's not pitching, and a very intense smell. For There's a swing and a drive. And it's gone! Home run! Kyle Schwarber goes deep, and the Phillies take the lead. It's one nothing. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now it is JT Real Muto. Ball one, no strikes. And a pitch. Real Muto started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. On the ground. Lays out. He's got it. Not in time. He's safe. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Derek Hall stands in for the Phillies. Clips the corner. 
And it's 0 and 1. Valdez, an all star a season ago, he features a sinker, a curb, a cutter, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, when you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate, very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can One pitch ball. in that location. Next offering is downstairs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Valdez checks over to first, and he's back. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And the first oh. offering is not close. Real Muto leads off first with two down to the inning. Snap throw to first. Real Muto back in there. The pitch. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And he deals. And fouled off. Two one now. Up the middle. They get the force. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, and today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. One one now. And there's a ball. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one misses. Three and one. The wide to kick the pitch. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Swings and misses, struck him out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The 1 1. Swing and a foul straight back. The 
the one two gets a piece and stays alive. The one two in the air pretty deep out to center field two away now. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah no doubt about that Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time and they may not have the flash that they once did but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business. And they understand what the job is at hand. Pitch misses there. And the count is 2-0. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother, Austin, who was the team's shortstop. And as well, his roommate was Alex Bregman. Not close with that one. Three balls, no strikes. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the second inning now from Minute Maid Park. It's the Phillies one and the Astros nothing. Back here in Houston, top of the second. And now for the, the Phillies, Bryson Stock. Bryson Stock. The pitch. Uh. And that's through there for a strike. All ones the count. And the lefty with the 0-1. Nope. Just missed. Oh. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And the next pitch is way outside. Hey. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now it's Alec Bohm. Yeah. In there in its own one. <laughs> on the ground a third. Throws across the diamond. Two up, two down at the top of the second. The left fielder, number 44. Here's Jake Cave now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter, and by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. Next ball offering one. down low and in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Right. 
and that's downstairs and outside. Hit on the ground to the right side, and it's off the bag. Cave into second, and he's got a double. All over that one right there. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. First nope, offering, and it just misses. Runner leads away at second. Two and oh. Ball out there on the mound. He's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. Rip towards third. Over to Abreu. That ends the frame. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Phillies one and the Astros nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's the veteran first baseman, Jose Abreu. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The pitch. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. Over to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. That is it. The right field. Here's Kyle Tucker. Infield shifted to the pull side. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That's in for a strike. Kyle's brother Preston got a little bit of time in the big leagues. Pretty good left-handed hitter. Played his college ball at the University of Florida. That one finds the corner. That's strike two. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Next pitch just misses, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one 95 to finish him off. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you could sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? David Hensley in the box now. No balls and a strike. The pitch and delivers oh, outside. Out towards right center field. Pays hit as he pulls up short. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So. Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Chaz McCormick stands in here, takes ball one low. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Hensley, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch oh misses God. outside. Two and oh. Base 
Chase head right field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw into third. He's in there. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Chance now to even this game. If they can put a ball in play, maybe an error, maybe a hit. And the batter now, Jake Myers. And that's in there for strike one. And the right hander deals. That's a ball. One and one. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And now it's one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Stop. Brings it in for the third out. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. We play two full. It's the Phillies one and the Astros nothing. And welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. Trey. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. First pitch, not close. And there's a base hit into left. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. In there for strike one. At the belt and fires. Oh. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next oh, offering is down low. Runner at first with no outs here. Now snap throw to first. No, Turner right. gets back easily. Here comes a pitch. And they're at the knees. Two balls, two strikes. Step off, throw to first. And Turner's back in. Nobody out, runner at first. Got him looking. And one gone. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Reached on an infield single his first time. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And that is in for a strike. Going one. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground, could be two. Goes to second for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phillies one, and the Astros nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Martin Maldonado up to hit. And a pitch. 
There's a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And it's even up. They say it went. Line drive. Nice grab on the run. Going up, one down. Well, off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Back to the top of the lineup, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Fall off foul. Going to now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. It wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Now it's Alex Bregman. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Fly ball down the line. Cave makes his way towards it. Makes a nice run and catch. And that is that. Astros are down quietly. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. New inning getting started. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Derek Hall. Oh. Valdez back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. Well, these Phillies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And now the lefty. And another ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Ground ball, left side. Bregman to first. One up, one down. The right field, number eight. Nick. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Good eye right there. Two now. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And Castellanos is out. And there's two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Sometimes. 
stop. In the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Fights it off. You'll see another. The one two. And a ball evens the count. Popped in the air, left side. Bregman is under it. Down quickly, go to Phillies. But they hold a 1 0 lead. Welcome back. Here's Jordan Alvarez. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. In plenty of time to first, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Now batting, first base. Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu up to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That's in there. That's strike one. That's in there. And he can't come up with it. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Struck out swinging his first time. And a foul ball. Now the 0-1. Oh, and two. Just oh, misses with that one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next, Next pitch two. misses. Two and two. And that's just foul. Left hand hitter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for Houston. They still trail one nothing. Ready now for the fifth leading inning. Off, leading off, Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. And here it comes. Yeah. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Jake Payne stands in for the Phillies. Doubled in his first A.B. On the ground to third. And it stays fair. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. First offering misses the mark. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. The 1-1. And it's fouled away. One and two here. And a curve misses outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Cave leads off first with one away. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner getting ready to hit. Hit on the ground might be two. On a second, they get one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies one and the Astros nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, David Hensley. And a pitch. And ball one. That misses. And it's 2 and 0. Oh. And the righty deals. Right through there for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Castellanos moves on it, grabs it on the run. Then there's one down. Chaz McCormick the next to hit one for one with a single so far and the first pitch misses for ball one
That's down and in. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. That just misses, and it's 3-0. Jake Myers waiting to hit for Houston. Kicks and deals. And he takes a strike. In the air, out towards right center. Castellanos gets under it. Brings it in. And there's two away. The center fielder, number six. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base bats. And there's the strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The line of the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies get a shutout on the mound. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shelby saying so long.